Hi everyone, welcome back to my podcast. I've got some special news. Three days ago on June 2nd, it was the one year anniversary of Spider Relax. It was a fun and exciting history filled year, and cheers to an even brighter second year. Today I'm going to be telling you the story of Krishna and Sudama. This story shows the power of true friendship. Let's go. Sudama was a poor Brahmin who had met Krishna in the ashram of Sage Sandipani. Krishna and Sudama had come to Sage Sandipani for their studies. They would spend many years under the sage's guidance before they went their ways to fulfill their duties in life. Sudama and Krishna immediately bonded and both excelled in their studies. One night, Sage Sandipani's wife had asked Krishna and Sudama to go out and get firewood from the forest. They also packed some poa in case they got late. Soon after they entered the forest and started picking up wood, a heavy thunderstorm broke out. The two boys scurried to two nearby trees and climbed up them for some shelter. Sudama was scared and hungry, so he decided to eat some of the poa without giving any to Krishna. Once the storm wore out, the two boys got down from the trees and got ready to return to the ashram. When Krishna saw that the sack filled with boa was gone, he asked Sudama if he had ate it. Sudama, embarrassed, said yes. Krishna only smiled at Sudama. Then both boys left the forest and returned back to the ashram. The guilty Sudama then went to Sage Sandipani and asked him how he could correct his mistake. Sage Sandipani said that Sudama would live in dire poverty until Krishna blessed him. After their studies with Sage Sandipani ended, Krishna and Sudama parted ways but still remain friends. Many years go by, Sudama gets married and has many children. They all lived in austerity and struggled a lot for a good meal. Krishna married Rukmini and became the king of Dwaraka. One day, Sudama's wife could not bear living in such austerity anymore and asked Sudama to go and meet Krishna. Sudama was thrilled at the thought of meeting his childhood friend. Sudama's wife did not want to send her husband empty-handed, so she gave him a small bundle of boa to give to Krishna. Sudama takes leave and walks the long distance from his village to Dwaraka. When he enters the palace gates, he sees Krishna and runs forward but he holds back looking at how poorly he was dressed. He decides to turn back, only to be stopped by the very hand of Krishna. Krishna hugs Sudama and brings him inside. Krishna provided much hospitality to Sudama. When Sudama was hesitant to give Krishna the small bundle of boa, Krishna snatched it and was so happy at the sight of the boa. He had two handfuls before Rukmini stopped him from eating more. They then talked for days about their lives since they left Sandipani's ashram. Sudama then realized that it had been so many days since he left home. He could not ask Krishna for wealth and decided to leave quickly. But when he gets home, his hut is not there. Instead, there is a huge palace in its place. Just then, his wife and kids come out of the palace wearing rich clothing and looking beautiful. Sudama asks them if this is their home, and they immediately nod their heads. As he wonders who did this, he realizes that Krishna read his mind and blessed him with so much wealth. Without Sudama saying a word, Krishna knew what he wanted. That's it for this episode, but it's not the end of the Krishna stories. There's lots more coming. Oh, and here's a question you guys can ponder upon. What do you think Krishna eating the handfuls of boa represents? If you know why, DM me on Insta or Twitter. If you don't, that's fine. I'll reveal it in the next episode. Till then, don't forget to turn on those post notifications and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See you next time. Above and beyond.